positioning of the reed switch relative to the location of the magnet and in the track uh, on the track is critical. Uh, the reed switches, which are small glass tubes, all right, need to be positioned in the track on N scale. Uh, and the smaller scales, it's easier to position the pin, the reed switch parallel to the track. For uh, larger scales, sometimes you position the switch inside the ties perpendicular to the track. I want to demonstrate something very briefly here. Right now, I have a reed switch that is, co is connected to this ohm meter and is positioned parallel to the track between the two rails underneath the plastic housing here. I have a magnet in a, in a small gondola car and as I move the magnet forward you will see that the ohm meter needle moves and drops and then moves again. The reason that I'm showing you this is the f magnetic field as it goes over the end of the reed switch will cause it to close. You can see the indicator on the ohm meter. If I continue moving slowly, when I get to the middle of the switch, it actually disengages. And then it re-engages again as it goes off the other end of the reed switch. The purpose for this demonstration is to indicate that it is necessary to either place the reed switch parallel to the rails, or if you position the reed switch perpendicular to the rails, it will be necessary to offset the reed switch one side or the other uh, because if the magnet goes over the very center of the reed switch, as you can see on the meter here, it will not pulse the reed switch.